Hi guys, so I'm back with another math equation um, tutorial. So this is a word equation right now and it may seem difficult with the percents in the letter and with the words, but a way, this is how you would write down this problem. 12, 12, is is always equals 12 equals to j now a way my teacher told me to to remember this is look at the percent sign move this into the front what do you what does it look like a hundred so j over 100 of always means times j over 100 times 8. Now, any number is a fraction by itself, even though if it's not always in fraction form at first. So, 8 over 1. J over 8. J times 8 in 100 times 1. So, 12 equals to J 8 Oh no, now that I got that incorrect real quick. Okay. So, J, I mean, not J, I am so sorry, I keep on getting this, this part confused. It's 8J. Now, the A always comes first. It's just sometimes I mix up the two. You cannot forget about this 100. 100 times 1 is still 100. So, 8J over 100. Now, me personally, you can do the fraction, but I do not like fractions. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be both B, Multiplying both sides by 100, so these two 100s cancel, times uh, 100, so 1,200 equals to 8J. So now you would divide both sides by 8. So now's the time you can get out your calculator. You can grab your calculator and go 12, 12, 100 divided by 8 is 150. So... 150, and you cannot, and always remember any number divided by itself is 1, and any time you have something like that, you can always remember that it is basically just the variable by itself. So 150 equals to J. Now you can reposition that at the end, so J equals to 150. And 50. Okay, guys, like and subscribe for more math tutorials, and that's the end.